What's up, everybody? Doc Dark one on a five. There's levels to this. Yo, if you've watched me for a while, you know that I'm no stranger to contradicting myself. However, I don't think I've ever contradicted myself back to back, like one video and then the next video. But some times have passed, some time has passed. And I have taken a good look at what's happening with Redfall and Game Pass and Xbox and the Xbox consoles and Xbox PC and Game Pass and all that other stuff. And this is what I have realized. Redfall running at 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X and S consoles is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with that. Let me explain. <clears throat> you see, it doesn't matter what the Xbox box says. It doesn't matter what uh, your favorite YouTuber says about the tools and the RDNA and the FSR and new technology and Xbox is getting a new update that's going to give it this power and all this other stuff. I actually stopped watching those channels. I actually I used to subscribe to a few people that would always talk about that stuff and I just unsubscribed. I, subscribed, I unsubscribed from those channels a while ago. However, I still, for whatever reason, believed in, I had hope for the power of the Xbox Series X, okay? I've made videos before about how the PlayStation 5 is more powerful than the Xbox Series X. I have made those videos. You could go check. And I'm basing it off of just what I'm seeing games-wise, right? Even Ghostwire Tokyo apparently runs better on PS5. I haven't looked into that one because, again, every time I see a video talking about that, it just discourages me. But... The fact that that's even a topic of conversation, that it could be possible that a game runs better on the PS5, already is a loss for the Xbox Series X. But where I have been mistaken is that I thought I was different to Microsoft. I thought I was different to Xbox. You see... I thought that the fact that I was a Game Pass gamer, a subscription service subscriber, someone that champions Game Pass, I thought that Microsoft cared about me as a gamer. I knew they didn't care about the Xbox console gamer that wasn't about subscription services. I knew they really didn't care about them because I would always, I would always say, check the videos, check the statistics like they say. If you don't have Game Pass this generation, I don't know why you have an Xbox. I have said that plenty of times, plenty of times over and over again. If you do not have Game Pass, I don't know what you're doing with an Xbox, okay? But I, but I thought I was slightly different. Now, I, I know they care more about me than they do the people that don't subscribe at all. I, I do know that for a fact. However, I'm not that much higher than those people because they don't care about the console gamers. <laughs> Let me tell you what I mean. Stop listening to other YouTubers, to anybody on Twitter, and really listen, pay attention to Xbox. Like, really, pay attention to Xbox. The Bible says you will know them by their fruit. That is a bar. Let me break that down for you. Let's say you don't know anything about trees. I don't know anything about trees. If I walk by a tree and this tree is full of apples, guess what type of tree it is? It's an apple tree. That is a bar, okay? That makes a lot of sense. Now, obviously, the Bible is use, using it as someone claims to be a Christian. You will know by the fruit, right? If Microsoft is a gaming company, 
you will know them by their fruit. Who are they catering to the most? Where is their attention mostly placed at? They're showing us. They have continued to show us over and over and over again. The consoles are not their main priority. And it's not just about Game Pass, because you would think that games coming to Game Pass would be the main priority, but it's, but it's not. They're okay with games coming to Game Pass, and if they're running on a console not being optimized, they're, they're okay. They're okay with that. So it's okay if Red Falls runs at 30 frames on the console, because what they're doing is they're, they're, they're showing us their fruit. So now it's up to us, right, to decide what do we do from here. Because when this game comes out, unfortunately, for me, I don't know if it's not going to get played. I know I'm not going to play, but what I mean is I don't know if it's not going to get played by other gamers, There's plenty of gamers out there that aren't in this Twitter world, that aren't in the YouTube world, like my boy TK9 says, that are in the real world, that don't know anything about frames or anything. They don't care none of that stuff. Now, my argument to that would be the people in the real world don't know anything about this game either, though. This game is not being marketed to to those people either. Like they don't, they don't, they don't really know. But who knows? They're going to keep producing fruit, and it's up to us to realize whether or not we want to listen to that apple tree or if we want to pretend like that's a, that's a mango tree or whatever. We don't want to pay attention to what exactly it is, <laughs> which would then make us foolish. Microsoft tricked me the beginning of this generation with the whole power narrative, okay? I really did believe they were the, more po- the most powerful console. And then they kept me with the whole Game Pass and value, right? And it is a lot of value. Game Pass does bring a lot of value. Now, though, they're showing me, right, as clear as day, that they don't care about the console gamer, period. So what do we do with this information? You either accept it or you move on. That's it. There's nothing else you could do. People have brought up the point that the the Nintendo Switch is not that powerful and people still buy and people still enjoy gaming on the Switch. Yes, we have accepted. We have accepted that. We have accepted what the Nintendo Switch is. Okay? However, you're not going to pretend like the Xbox Series X was not a flat-out lie. I almost wonder what was the point of it. They should have made an Xbox Series S with a disk drive. That's it. They should have had an Xbox Series S, this, and this list. And this list. That would have made more sense because all the Xbox Series X is, as of right now, is an overgrown Xbox Series S. That's what this game is producing. That's what this game says. 1440p at 30 frames per second on the Series S or 4K 30 frames per second on the Series X. People like to complain that they can't tell the difference between 60 frames and 30 frames, which I think is baloney. But if you can't tell the difference between 60 and 30, you're going to sit here and tell me you can tell the difference between 4K and 1440p? Depending on what monitor you're playing on or what TV you're playing on, I guarantee you probably can't. Some of y'all can't tell the difference between 1080p and 4K. Stop lying. An overgrown Xbox Series S with a disk drive. This is the fruit that Microsoft is producing to me and showing me what it, what it is. I should believe them. You will know them by the fruit. Redfall running at 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X and S is perfectly fine. Microsoft is clearly showing you and I what this console is. And the way they view us as gamers. 
those that don't subscribe to Game Pass, you really don't matter. You, they, really, <clears throat> they really don't care about you. They're about to charge you $70 for this trash. Think about that. They're about to charge you $70 for this trash. And for us Game Pass gamers, this is a clear message that if you have Game Pass on console, we can just give you whatever. We just, I don't, it doesn't matter. Now, if you Game Pass on PC, hey, we need you. We're going to let you download this game and you can use whatever hardware you want. Hey, you don't got a hardware? If you want to play this game on the cloud, we got you. You'll play, you'll play with, our, with our Xbox. You'll play with our Xbox. Don't worry about it. We got you. But for those that went out there and purchased a $500 Xbox Series S, that's what I'm going to call that thing. Hey, man, we got got. It is what it is. So what do we do now? You pick up that apple. It's probably a green sour apple. You take a bite out of it and you keep moving. Because what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? This is a tough situation we're in, but it's simple. Now we know who they are. For sure. Doc Dog went on A5. Mm. It's okay. It runs at 30 frames per second. I have accepted it. Just like everything else on Game Pass, I don't have to play everything that's on them. I will play what I want when I want. It is what it is. The Xbox Series X, once more, proves, proves that it's not powerful. It is an overgrown Xbox Series S. Before I leave you, this is all I want you to do before you leave a comment. Realize that it's not your job or my job to defend Xbox. No, no, no. We don't have to defend Xbox. It's their job to do it with the fruit that they produce. We out. Peace.